so these are the homogeneous these are the closed subsets of p and k okay now as you see that in the home, in the case of affine the d the df so if you define d plus a uh, here i uh, it's denoted by d plus it has some reason i'll tell you why so if a d plus a is nothing but pn minus v of f so these are the open subsets and these are called basic open subsets where f is a poly f is a homogeneous polynomial since you, so just uh, i is a generated by uh, single polynomial when and these open subsets now the uh, the exercise like in the affine case you can you saw that they form a basis that uh, they form a, so this this d plus a forms a basis for this topology forms a basis for the risky So I leave it as exercise. If you take any open subset, you can write it as union of. Is uh, take any point in the open subset, I can find a f such that f of x not equal to zero. This is basically it says that the there are enough functions to separate points. This is the basically this is the idea that there are enough functions to separate points and there are enough points which separate functions so vice versa so okay so now you see that one polynomial there are some uh, special polynomials these are if you take for example f i if i call it x i these are polynomial of degree monomial of degree 1 and these are the actually generated of uh, generator of uh, this algebra k x naught x 1 x n. So, now you can talk about v of x i or v of f i. So, v of f i means uh, what is it? So, that means 0 set of x i equal to 0. So, that means this is of the this is like a 1 a 2 a i minus 1. 0 a i plus 1 a n right a i belongs to k right and what is the complement d plus of uh, x i or d plus of a f i this is nothing but a 1 a 2 a i minus 1 a i a i plus 1 a n where a i is not 0 and and other other can be anything right. So, if a i not equal to 0 I can replace it by 1 because uh, okay, so I should have written colon here. Because these are points in projective space, not in affine space. Y is 0. So, A i not equal to 0, I could have replaced A i to be 1, right? up to scalar multiple they are same. So, without loss of generation so d plus x i. So, here I can put instead of a i, I can put uh, 1. So, then I do not have to put a i not equal to 0. 
So I, I just write EI belongs to K. EI can be anything. Right. But now you see that this is this D plus XI and the affine space A n. Right. There is a bijection. Right, I call this map as psi i. So, what is the bijection? So, I take any element b1. So, this is the bijection I write it here a into d plus xi. So, b1, b2, bn, I send it to b1 b2 b i uh, minus 1 then i put 1 at i then i put b i b n ah sorry yes now here it is fine here Sometimes I will write like this B1, this is easier for me to write at least on tablet. When I write box A1, A2, AN means this is a point in the projective space. When I write uh, first bracket A1, A2, AN means a point in the affine space. Okay. So, I will sometimes I uh, you interchangeably I will write this. Hmm. First of all, this is a bijection you agree right, because bijection is clear, <coughs> because here you have one, you cannot change this one. So, that is why it is a bijection. If something is different then it will be some lambda, but when you multiply by lambda this one will be changed. So, that is why it is a one, this it is a one to one. <clears throat> and opposite, if you take a point here, say A naught A in, so if it is A i or, so if this is not 0, you just divide it by A i. a i minus 1 a i and omit the uh, uh, i th part. So, this is a bijection, but notice that this d plus x i is an open subset of p n and this is a affine space both has a topology d plus x i. So, this I call it, these are called uh, standard open subsets. These u i's are called standard open subsets. Of p n. And this a, a both has a topology. One is a topology, one is coming with open subset of a topological, p n has a topological topology which is the risky topology and a n of course, it has a topology. Now, what is my claim that this is this psi i is a homeomorphism. <coughs> ah? Okay, so so proposition. So I'll write the proposition. I'll prove to prove it. I need to 
introduce some concept like called homogenization and dehomogenization. So, that probably I will do it uh, and then I will prove the proposition. First, I state the proposition so that. So, if <coughs> x is V of f1, f2, fr, a closed subset in uh, P n k, f i's are of course homogeneous when I say closed subset in P n k, f i's are homogeneous. When I write capital F means homogeneous, okay. And when I write little f, it will not be homogeneous. So, then this psi i, psi, this psi i map always you remember it goes from the affine space to the open subset of the standard open subset, i h standard open subset of P n. Hmm. By the way, P n you can P n you can write it as union of this d plus x i, right. Any point it will be non zero somewhere, right. In a projective space, it will it is 0, 0, 0 is not there. So, any point it is some non zero somewhere, and then that will mean imply that if it is non zero at i f place, so it will belong to u i. So, i equal to 0 to n. So, this d plus x i which has bijection with the affine space a n. So, they covered the whole projective space and now what I am going to say that this is not just a set theory as a topology also the topology on p n is actually induced from this topology of gluing of these affine spaces. So, this is the this is a new idea that the gluing you can glue to affine space and get something which is not affine, which is projective, which is much richer, which has some richer structure. So, locally they look like affine, but they are not affine. So, this is uh, what will come now. So, if x is a over x is a closed subset in P n, then you can talk about psi i, which is a I will write psi i is a map from Hmm? Yes, yes, this has induced topology. P n has some, P n I defined the Zariski topology, A n also has a Zariski topology. Now, U i is, is the induced Zariski topology. Hmm. So, psi i is the map from A n to U i. So, psi i inverse of x intersection u i is v of f 1, f 2, f r, where f i is nothing but dehomogenization of f i sorry f k l s right f k. I will explain what is this mean. Whenever you have a homo, homo, homogeneous polynomial, polynomial you can dehomogenize uh, i f part and that is the, I will explain what is this mean uh, what is in sh shortly. Yeah. And second, so you see that this f 1, f 2, f r these are this will be polynomials in um, in k x 1, k uh, x 1, x 2, x n basically or k say k y 1, y 2, y n. It will be in n variable not in n plus 1 variable because after all it is a point in a n. 
so so they are in in a, I am not writing it because I will define it so shortly. So this f one just as just I am saying in words that f one f two f r these are polynomials in n variable, and no and this f f r is a polynomial in n plus one variable. Because after all, it has to be a point in a n, so it should be in n variable. Okay, huh? Ah, so when you define p n k, so you define you you, you took the polynomial ring k x not x one x n, right? So these f i s are in uh, k x not x n. When you define projective space, a projective space. We took the homo. So if I take a closed subset in P and K, they are zero set of some homogeneous polynomials, and those polynomials coming from some n plus one variables, right? Polynomial ring, polynomial ring with n plus one variable. So that is the. Hmm. Okay. So this is the other way. The what about the other way? So if y Is some v of i hmm. for some ideal okay? Let me write uh, f k is a is a is element in say left side k. I will use this notation k y one y two i n. I'll tell this y i and x i s will have some relation. Hmm. These variables. So I'll come to that for some ideals. Some ideal i. Hmm. Then psi i. So now you can talk about v of i. V of i is a closed subset in i. A shy i. Sorry, v of i is a closed subset in a n. Now you can put a shy i here. Now shy i of v i will be a subset of u i. Right, but we are dealing with closed subset. Hmm. But if you, if you take the closure in p n. This is nothing but v of homonomize the ideal i. So there is some something called dehomonomization, and in one is called homonomization. So when you have a some polynomial which is not homogeneous, you can make it homogeneous. And when you have some homogeneous polynomial, you can make it. Not homogeneous. This is the game between uh, affine and projective. This is a very important trick. It is often useful. Often is which one? No, because i is after all is a subset of in in i v of i is in in k a n. So there, I don't need homogeneous ideal to define a closed subset. Yeah, I have to increase one variable. Yeah, and I will make it homogeneous, and take the then take the zero set. I'll do that. Yeah, but here you should. Uh, but what is um, what is home i i? I should write what is home i of i. This is the ideal generated by. Home i of f, f belongs to i. Here, one caution I should say here: you can check that if suppose i is generated by f one, f two, f r, 
then homogeneous ideal generated by this is not always so i can we can talk about homogenize uh, the polynomial f1 uh, the uh, homogenize uh, the polynomial fr it is not true you have to, right so this is not always true does not imply <coughs> and then the third and all this says that the bijection uh, psi i which is from the affine space a n to d plus x i or which is which I most write it as u i is an homeomorphism is a homeomorphism. So, this is the punch line that this open subset is in projective space it is patching of some certain open subsets and those open subsets are actually affine space. So, you are getting something p n which is which a priori they are very, very different with the way it is defined because it is some zero set of some homogeneous polynomial, but they are they are they are union of affine spaces. And those affine space, when you define affine, there you do not think about uh, point, uh, homogeneous polynomial. So, locally, they are <laughs> union of affine spaces. Okay. So, now I will explain what is this, uh, how you uh, homogeneous, uh, make it a homogeneous, and you, how you de homogeneous uh, this. Uh, so, let uh, so let um, so I'll explain what is this notation. Okay, so consider. So I'll just uh, explain, and maybe in the next class I'll prove this, or I'll go ahead with the proposition. So consider. and s k x not x n. So, this s you can write it as uh, graded when I think think this s I think as a graded uh, ring here I do not as you and then uh, consider a graded. So, now r d by r d we mean a degree d polynomials. in R. <coughs> and S D is the <coughs> degree D homogeneous polynomial. There is difference. <coughs> so, now if you take element F in S D that is a homogeneous of degree D polynomial. <coughs> So, consider, so I call, I call d homonize d hom i f. So, this is nothing but f So, it is a f is a polynomial in n plus 1 variable. So, what I do I replace x naught x 2 x 1 x n minus 1 by y 1 y 2 y n. 
and at the place x i, I put 1, I sorry, what I am writing, i minus 1 and here <coughs> I put y i and then y n. Hmm? Y i. Because there are y1, y2, yn variable, and here it is n plus 1 variable x0, x1, xn. So I replace x0 by y1, x1 by y2, or this will be yi, xi minus 1 by yi, here you put y plus 1. So, this I call it a, a f, this is dehomogenization, right and, uh, and if I take, if I take some, some polynomial f in R d, then I can make it homogenize from I f, sorry f. So, this is what this is. So, I will explain there is for any f belongs to R d, huh, there exists. I, I, I want to define what is this. Huh. So, there exists a unique f <coughs> belongs to S d such that. And in, in fact, you can write this f, this f will be nothing but x i power d f of x naught by x i, x 1 by x i, x i minus 1 by x i. So, y naught you replace by x naught by x i, y 1 you replace by x 1 by x i, y i minus 1 you replace by x i minus 1 by x i, right. <coughs> and this is a homogeneous polynomial in n plus 1 variable. So, this is important. So, I will leave it here. I will leave. So, check this. We will come back to this in the next class. I will leave it as exercise. So, now, so the point is that if you have a homogeneous polynomial, you can make it make it a polynomial which is not homogeneous and if you vice versa. So, this is a, this will be useful when you do this. Um, because one side is affine, another side is projective. So, you have to do this game. Okay. So, I will stop here. So, we will continue at 5.